now it's uh, time to get up and head out onto the water. Not sure where I'm headed today, but it should be a good day. It's supposed to be a nice weekend. Not much wind, unfortunately, but we're going to head out anyway. Saturday morning. It's, uh, let's see what time it is. Not quite seven yet. Just getting up. Stayed in the marina last night. There was a bit of a wine and cheese party, so now it's, uh, time to get up and head out onto the water. Not sure where I'm headed today, but it should be a good day. It's supposed to be a nice weekend. Not much wind, unfortunately, but we're gonna head out anyway.
Okay, we're just anchored in here at Wanakita. Got here at about 9 o'clock this morning, so we left at 7, so it was about two hours to head over here, so not too bad. Nice and quiet in here. See the anchorage? Got a summer camp over there. There's nobody here yet right now. Lots of people tied to the dock. We're really the only ones anchored out over here. Got my mom over here doing some coconut water. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. And got my dad up on the bow. Dragonfly on my arm. Dragonfly charmer. He's charming the dragonflies. Say hi, dad. Hi, everyone. And there's tons of dragonflies, which is awesome because they eat the bugs that are more pesky. So they're all over the place, which is good. It's going to be a good day and I think it's almost warm enough to maybe hop in the water in the near future. We'll see what the temperature says. Morning, Moz. Good morning. As it turns out, neither of us will be catching a large fish. Fish one, us zero. <laughs> Maybe next time. time to make things official on Tallulah. Check this out. Okay, just getting ready to head back from Wanakita. Got a good northeast wind, about 10 knots, so I think it should be a good solo sail back. Okay, 
first uh, solo sail of the summer, heading back in from Wanakita. The nice thing about not having the engine running is I don't worry, have to worry about trying to cut the sound out of the videos. But I just got the head sail up, not quite feeling bold enough today to put both sails up, but I'm just kind of cruising along at four knots, so I'm not going to worry too much about it, but I think it's going to be a nice little sail back. Pretty busy out here. fair amount so I guess it's time to uh, release the chicken line here and I should be able to go a little faster than two knots so let's see how it goes We were cruising along and now like wind completely dead. So uh, I guess I'll try to play around with the sails a little bit. I'm not too experienced in that, but the wind's starting to come a little more from behind us. So maybe I got to loosen them out a little bit. Let's see if I can get something else going here. You guys can let me know if I'm doing this all wrong. gross the beach where we were anchored there was like a whole bunch of it the water was bright yellow this is that time of the year and I'm just constantly wiping it off everything it's all over the solar panels I don't know if you can see the yellow tinge and I've already wiped them off about three times today a bit of a pain especially for someone who has allergies but you know still enjoying the day Right, this is how you save space on a small boat. Got my can crusher here. There we go. Fits much nicer into the recycling bin. At least once you get a bunch of them. And yes, that's only a, a flavored water. Still cruising along, just kind of coming into the entrance of Patang Bay here. Still doing about two and a half knots. So that's alright, but I just uh, 
Got myself a little snack. I got some cheese and some uh, crackers to keep me going. I'm a pretty happy camper right now. A benefit I've noticed of having the sails up, other than not using fuel and the quiet, is that you don't pound through waves. Like that cruiser just went by. We're going through its waves. And it, we're not like bobbing all over. We just kind of, I don't know, cruise through them. I guess the sails kind of work as a windbreak and uh, keep you from bouncing all over, which is pretty awesome because I hate when you get tossed all over. You got to totally abandon your course and turn into some waves so that, uh, you know, you're not throwing stuff in the galley all over the floor. So it's nice with the sails up. It just kind of uh, goes through no problem and we're not bobbing all over the place. Okay, this we are going super slow, but this is awesome. Looks so cool. We're doing some wing on wing here. I'm loving it. Just cruising past Magazine Island, going wing on wing. So fun. Unfortunately, that's it for Mr. Autopilot today. I tried to get it to tack for me while I was uh, playing around with the sails. And it does this thing where if the arm goes all the way out or all the way in, it kicks the belt off. I don't know, I guess maybe it's to stop it from breaking the belt. So it did that, so now it doesn't do anything. So uh, not overly helpful, but I mean, we're almost home. So uh, I think I can handle it from here. Okay, so as you can hear, the engine's back on. Unfortunately, that's it for the sailing today. The wind kind of died coming into Penetang Bay, as it often does. Actually, not before picking up for a little bit around the corner, which was fun. And uh, basically sailed from uh, the two markers that are a bit narrow going into Bosley Island, all the way to Discovery Harbor over there. So it's a fun solo sail. Got everything uh, put away without any problems, so now I'm just heading into the dock, probably do a little pump out and get things ready to go for next week.